As we've been reporting, there is a very intense manhunt underway at this hour for the suspect in the mass shootings in Lewiston, Maine. Here are just some of the 18 people who were killed at a bowling alley and a restaurant about four miles away, just going out on a regular night. 13 people were wounded in these attacks, and many of those were taken to the Central Maine Medical Center in Lewiston. We're joined now by the hospital's chief of trauma, that's Dr. Richard King. Good morning to you, Dr. King. I know that this is the first time you're speaking about this terrible accident, terrible incident. It certainly was not an accident. We thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. Dr. King, what can you tell us about the, the number of patients that you're treating and the extent of their injuries? Well, uh, we had uh, quite a few critical patients uh, arrive initially uh, some not so critical. I would say we took to the operating room maybe about six patients. And, um, you know, we, most of those patients are still in our hospital and uh, receiving ongoing treatment. Dr. King, are they all gunshot victims or are there other injuries in the mix? And are any of them children? Yes, um, they're all gunshot uh, wound victims, uh, many with multiple gunshots. Um, we have um, at least one person who is of uh, uh, pediatric age, uh, I, I suppose a child, yes. Uh, doctor, I, I wanna ask a question, but I, I must warn the viewers that your answer could be graphic, but there is a difference between a handgun wound and an assault style weapon wound and I would love for you to kind of detail what those differences are and what that does to humans, adults, and even kids. Yes, well, we do see many gunshot wounds uh, as trauma surgeons, but uh, for me, this was the first time that I'd actually taken care of someone with high velocity um, uh, gunshot wounds. And uh, I'd read about them and seen them but uh, to actually see them in person and see the destructive ability of those rounds was really quite, uh, quite sobering. Um, and most of our, if not all of our patients had you know, at least one of those uh, really severe wounds. Um, absolutely uh, destructive, complete destruction of the surrounding tissue. It was really, really quite something. Yeah, and when you say that exactly, what does that mean? Because I think people, we hear the words, but I almost think you have to really detail for people the damage that these weapons cause. Because I think so many people, Richard, don't understand how bad this is. They still don't get it. Yes, well, what, what you often will see is maybe a small, what we would call an entrance wound, although usually we don't distinguish between the two, but with these high velocity uh, rounds, you can actually see the exit wounds and the, they, they cause this a, a massive amount of destruction, gaping holes. But what's, what's more problematic is that within the, within the body itself, the, the force is what we call the cavitation force. The, the, the in energy that that round has just pr produces destruction beyond the actual bullet itself. So often we have to look around beyond where the bullet track would be to see whether or not there are any other injuries. Often they'll, these uh, rounds will hit bone, shatter bone, and the bone itself becomes a missile or a projectile. Um, so lots of destruction, absolutely devastating injuries. Mm. Dr. King, you're, you're seeing as many murders uh, in one day as Lewiston sees in 15 years. And as you just pointed out, you don't often see assault style uh, rifle wounds of this sort. How are you and your staff holding up, looking into the face of this challenge that you haven't faced before? Staff is holding up very well. Uh, when this all happened, everybody responded, came in. It was just amazing to see. Uh, everybody did as they were trained to do and got on with the task at hand. I really can't say enough for those who were working with me. Um, my program manager, Tammy LeChance, and, and everyone who, who worked. I, I think, you know, we're coming down off of that adrenaline rush and it's starting to sink in, you know, mm -hmm. talking to the families, talking to the patients about what happened. It's really, really very moving. And um, I, I think everybody is gonna 
take some time to, to, to process that. Mm -hmm. Dr. King, we bet. thank you for taking yes. time. We appreciate you. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims, but also with your staff. We know that you have some long nights and early mornings. And I'm sure exactly the families right. thank you as well. Yes. Exactly right. Thank you so much. Thank you all very much. Thank you.